Oh, they don't call the Pokemon Mega Tokyo for nothing. Hello, all you wonderful people, and greetings from Ikebukuro, which is one of the busiest places in Tokyo because it connects to the rest of, well, outside of Tokyo. Today, we're checking out Sunshine City, which is known as a city in a city. It's basically a mall, but I want to see if this is worth actually going to because I've heard so much about it. Before we start this exploration, it'd be awesome if you could leave a like on this video because it shows that you like this kind of content, you want more videos like this, and it brings it out to the masses. Anyway, let's begin. This is really cute. If you come to Ikebukuro, you're going to see a lot of owls because Fukuro is named for owl in Japanese. Anyway, Sunshine City is a massive complex with a lot of different facilities. But first, you're probably going to be there for a little bit of shopping. And if you ever want to know what a Toys R Us is like in Japan, well, it's almost like a Toys R Us in America. Except there's Japanese elements. Right here, you'll see the dolls that are set up for Hima Matsuri, which is the girls' festival. And these are very, very popular around March because that's what girls' festival is. You'll also find a lot of robots and well, Japanese-centric toys because you're in Japan. And of course, Pokemon are there as well, but don't worry, we'll get back to that later. Ah oh, yes, my favorite Marvel character, old Biff Tannen and young Biff Tannen. Oh, excuse me, Griff Tannen. And there's more than just chain stores here. You'll find typical Japanese candy shops that sell more than just candy and foods. They also sell poop on a stick. And Japan's answer to Disney, Hello Kitty. But if that's too cute for you, there's also the Ghibli store, which is half the to Kiki's magical delivery service. If there's a company that understands merchantainment, it's definitely this place. I'm seriously not kidding about the owls. You will see them everywhere in this like area. But if you go on the roof, you'll actually find a aquarium and also a planetarium. In one's personal opinion, for what they are, they seemed a little costly. On the top floor, there's an aquarium and a planetarium, but I don't think they're gonna be worth the cost of admission. But I found something very strange up here. This is something I did not think existed. This is an insect vending machine. Now I've seen insect vending machines before that have toy fighting beetles inside of it, but this is food. There are like scorpions and spiders that you can buy to eat. I did a little research on this and most of the bugs come from Thailand where it's a lot hotter and there'll be a lot more population of bugs. Now, I don't know who this is for, but the bugs were not cheap. But at the worst, it's an amazing talking point because I have never seen a bug vending machine before in my life. And I don't know if I'll ever see one again. And if vending machines are your thing, they have the world's largest gachapon store inside of Sunshine City. Uh, now, what is a gachapon? Gachapon are the things you turn around and around and around, and a little ball comes out with a little capsule. They also will call them capsule machines. This one in particular costs $5 to do. But it's exactly what you'd expect, rows and rows of capsule machines and they also had every muscle character ever made did, did anyone collect these when they were younger because i know these are worth a lot and i know they're extremely collectible i know this guy really well there's also an indoor theme park called nami jima town which doesn't seem up my alley i think you can put cats in there i know there's a haunted house in there and there's like small little attractions you have to pay for it just doesn't seem worth it. Here's a second strange vending machine right outside of that. It's a gyoza, like a pot sticker, vending machine. Never seen one of those before. And that might be worth the money because those things taste amazing. And on the second floor is an entire level dedicated to Pokemon. Now, I've seen a lot of Pokemon stores in Japan. This is the biggest. Not the best themed. The best themed is next to the Nintendo store in Shinjuku.
these statues litter to the area. And notice we haven't seen the store yet. This is a cafe that they have that serves, well, quick service food. There's even a Pokemon that eats your trash after you're done with it. Then there's the actual store. I'd imagine that if there was any Pokemon related thing that was ever made, it would be here. They have Pokemon pasta, they have Pokemon ramen, they have Pokemon socks. I don't know who this is for, but they've got it if you really want it. Personally, I can identify about 150, 151 of these characters, but I mean, who, who is this? This little blue guy down there, who, who is it? And I noticed that there was a huge popularity of the Eevee uh, evolutions. The blue one was like sold out. I'm not sure why. There was a section for their like dollar each play arcade games, more statues, and then also a Pokemon Go section. Now, I'm not sure if this is even relevant anymore, but it's part of their brand, and I'm sure there are a ton of people playing it out here in Japan. I remember back in Osaka when I used to play it, and I saw a rush of people in a very hot spot for this game try to find a Lapras. A Lapis? A Lapis. And everyone was running, like just dashing to this one place. <laughs> Women were holding babies of like four or five months, running as fast as they could to get this virtual thing. I can see why uh, NFTs are so popular because everyone wants that, that thing that's like tangible and it's theirs and they say, I, I claim this, but I, I guess that's collecting. And on that point, I know these videos come off as like pro-consumerism. I'm really an anti-consumer. I never purchase any of these things that I show off in the videos. I have no interest in, in obtaining and keeping these things, but I think they're neat to Remember, sometimes the things you own, own you. And to close out the tour of Sunshine City, here is the One Piece store with an In His Prime Tim Curry. You can find stuff from One Piece here. I know it makes me a hypocrite talking about anti-consumerism, but hey, it's cool stuff as well. Anyway, that's Sunshine City. Do you think that this place is more than just a mall? Do you think it's an experience? Would you want to come out here? Is it worth it? Do you think the uh, planetarium or the aquarium would be worth going to? Let me know in the comments. And once again, thank you for leaving a like and thank you for making it to the end of these videos. It really means a lot to me and it helps other people see videos from Japan and see places they probably never will actually travel to. But as I always say, you can do it. I can do it. We can all do it. Stay groovy and have a wonderful day. Peace.